Hi and welcome to the quick start guide for text delay. In this video we'll briefly go over all the features of text delay and if you'd like some more information check out the in-depth guide. So in this example I have some text with uh, three keyframes and it's just using the elastic out expression by ease and whiz and that looks nice but we can make it a little bit more exciting if we add text delay and this is the default settings. It will stagger uh, each character by one frame. So that's the delay there and if we want we can increase that or decrease it and you'll notice that uh, the ELL is sticking together so what we can do with that is uh, enable the separation guide and lower the threshold to say 1 and if we go to the very start we can see each character is color coded and that's the separation it goes red, green, blue, magenta, yellow and that way you know that the uh, characters are being separated correctly so here I've got some lorem ipsum text and that's using the um, the paragraph mode for text and uh, we can see that's working but way too much delay so with large amounts of text you might want to delay it by less or what you can do is instead of uh, separating by character you could separate by word and if we turn on the separation guide here we just need to increase the threshold a bit red, green, blue, magenta, yellow and um, also we could separate by line if we just keep increasing the threshold so there we go now we're just separating by line and because the threshold so the delay is so small that's why we're not getting much delay back to our text and we have the order modifier here so none uh, staggers left to right reverse will do the opposite of that random does it randomly and we have the random seed there to change um, how it's being chosen, how those characters are being chosen and increment will do every second character from the left and then once all those characters have gone then every other character will leave. We also have range selector and we can enable the range selector guide here. This will choose which characters receive stagger or delay so I can make sure that the red text does not get delayed and we can also take it from the back as well and then there will just be two characters and uh, we can turn off the guide. Tracking that's uh, useful for reasons that will be explained in the extended tutorial but essentially that works kind of as you would expect it to. We also have motion blur. Uh, text delay does respect the original motion blur but that's really not going to work as you can see here so uh, I would recommend turning that off and then turning it on here and then motion blur will work as you expect it to and we have some parameters here so this is basically just a slider to choose how much motion blur is going on zero being absolutely none and 500 being about the same as a, a two frame amount in uh, advance so like a shutter angle of 720. That's the basics if you'd like some more information check out the in-depth guide and for more boring but useful plugins check out plugineverything.com if you know what's good for you.